Welcome to. Oops, sorry, Pero... I was on my phone. Yes, it does. Welcome to. Pero Life. Oh wait, I thought that for me to say. Sorry, oh I just my like, god. I forgot that I'm not doing this anymore. I'm doing this. Welcome to. Pero Life. We're talking about superstitions today. I always wear this every day up on me. Even mal de ojo, so like if someone uh, you have gives you the legit side mal de ojo. Mm -hmm. No I joke, I've been wanting to wear my asavache again. What's an asavache? Um, it's like a little black stone, and like usually you only wear it when you're a kid. Okay. From birth through like, I don't know, maybe age 13. And you wear it inside your clothes, and it was like this little gold pin with a little hanging black stone. And it was to... What's it called? Ward off in mal de It's asavache. Asavache. I was really into like my St. Christopher medal for a while. Like I would wear it or like I always have a thing in my car. It's traveling. Oh, it's like text travelers. Is that something your mom like gave to you or? Mm -hmm. All the stuff is of my mom. She's like. But do you think like a, a, in general, being Latinos are particularly paranoid? Yeah, it's yeah. like random stuff. Like I remember my grandma wouldn't, if you were on your period, she'd be like, don't eat watermelon. For me it was oh, I yeah. couldn't wash my hair either. When you're when in your you period? When you're in period, I couldn't wash my hair, I couldn't walk barefoot. Wait, why? Like my ovaries were gonna freeze over. I don't freaking know. Yeah. My grandma would always try to back that shit up. Yeah, like, exactly. Porque la, es la esposa de... Margarita. Mar 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 <laughs> <laughs> Be like Margarita in Cuba, <laughs> se salió del baño sin zapato con la regla, and like something terrible, like she died. Maybe she like slipped on her stuff. On her blood, that's just yeah. gross. It yeah. might also go back to our roots too, like in Cuba, in Mexico, and like in El Salvador. You know, we have santería, brujería, like we have all these different traditions that we used to do before, before the church really took over. And with the basa en el huevo, when they put mm -hmm. the egg around you and it's supposed to take away the evil, like that's gotta start somewhere. For the most part, Latinos grew up Roman Catholic, Catholic, but some of the stuff we do, well, including my own family, very, is very yeah. much, there's some little santería aspects yeah, here and there. True. I've seen it, you know, I'll go to a house and someone's name was like in a in a jar full of water. Yeah. What's that? Even though there's superstitions, I do believe in them. With brujeria stuff, I won't fuck with it because I don't want it to come back to me because then I believe in karma too. And I'm mm -hmm. like, look, I'm not a big fan of And you got but... astrology, throw that in yeah, there too. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But then there's the basic crack. superstitions that don't really have to do with santeria, but like don't put your purse on the floor because your money goes away. Or like a hat, my grandma till this day, I cannot put a hat on the bed because my grandma would always flip the hell out when I would do it. She'd be like, I know, va a venir doctore. Like, like, it's gonna bring illness, doctors to the house if you put a hat on the bed. I I'm wondering what you have to think about all this because she's just like looking like. I'm an atheist. Sorry. My mother grew up Catholic and she tried and still could like, so like when I'm in a dangerous situation, I do the sign of the cross just in case. But like through Chicano studies, like a lot of like the brujeria stuff comes from truth. Like I'll make you a tea if you, if you feel like this. Uh, I don't believe in a lot of stuff my grandmother used to because I fainted when I was in Mexico and yeah. she was like, it's because you fell asleep with the fan on. It's like, it gave you air. But I what else have a thing with el aire though? I just think it's mad. El aire! El aire! <laughs> As if it's its own creature from the night that comes el aire! El aire, el aire is so true. <laughs> like when, yeah. when I, we lose something, which is eerie though because it does actually work, it's yeah. bizarre. But, and this does tie back to religion, but like when Jesus uh, was crucified, there was like two thieves on either side of him yes. and one of them was Saint Dismas or San Dimas and he was the good thief because he's the one that kind of like repented. So every time we lose something, my grandma says we need to tie up San Dima. Ooh. Tenemos que amarrar San Dima yeah. and it's like a yellow string. We tie him up and we, it's like a prayer. It's like San Dima, San Dima. If I don't find my like Nikes, um, I'm not gonna let you go. A lot of times growing up, I remember going, shit, this works. Yeah. Cause this, whatever it was would turn up right away. I think for me too, like when my grandma passed away was when I started to believe in more stuff. Cause it makes me feel like connected Plus to her. Yeah. Like when she passed away, we're like, had a little table with stuff and then we put like a glass of water. Glass of water, that's like, right. We didn't turn on the TV for a long time because we're like, oh, her spirit has to make it to the other side. That stuff made me feel more comfort. What are what are weird superstitions that you guys have? Like, let us know. Let us. We'll chat about it. We'll yeah. talk about it. And com comment at me if you're also don't believe. Oh yeah, <laughs> I feel lonely. Don't believe. I'll be saying I, I think we all like to learn different other people's superstitions because you know what's wrong with more good luck. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, or guys. more paranoia. Catch yeah. You next time. Time.